ఇష్టం లేదు సార్ అన్అవైలబుల్ ఫుడ్ బై లాక్ వే డిస్కస్ డిక్రీస్ ఇన్ టేక్ డిఫికల్టీ ఇన్ స్వాలోయింగ్ జస్ట్ థింక్ అబౌట్ ద ఫ్రమ్ ద స్టార్ట్ టు ఎన్ మళ్ళీ ఫస్ట్ ఈజ్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో ఫుడ్ ఈ ఫుడ్ ఈజ్ అవైలబుల్ బట్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ ప్రాబ్లమ్ విత్ ద ఇంటెక్ ఇఫ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ విత్ ఇంటెక్ మీన్స్ ఐదర్ పేరెంట్స్ డోంట్ నో హౌ టు గివ్ ఐదర్ పేరెంట్స్ డజన్ నో హౌ వట్ టు గివ్ అండ్ హౌ టు గివ్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ డిక్రీస్ ఇన్ ఇంటెక్ ఓ దే మే దేర్ మే బి సమ్ సైకలాజికల్ ఇష్యూస్ థర్డ్ థింగ్ ఇఫ్ ఫుడ్ ఇన్ ద మౌత్ బట్ డిఫికల్ట్ ఇన్ స్వాలోయింగ్ ఇఫ్ ఫుడ్ ఇన్ ద మౌత్ swallowing is normal sometime it comes back to the mouth it is a reflux sometime it reflux is not there is a indigestion indigestion means deficiency of some enzyme or some uh, milk allergy or uh, milk intolerance like it's a indigestion if the digestion is normal then is a malabsorption because food particle doesn't go into the blood the malabsorption is not there everything is fine then then there is a increased metabolic demand means the long term diseases which are uh, increase uh, increases the calorie requirement then the psychological issues so the one question is the what kind of challenges are in early childhood and nutrition the the see the nowadays challenges for the early childhood and nutrition is that uh, first of all when uh, exclusive breastfeeding for the 6 months most mother knows that they need they have to give exclusive breastfeeding for the 6 months but they are not motivated to imply it actually apply it and that is was a big challenge that how to maintain the exclusive breastfeeding for the first 6 months and we have to give support to each and every nursing mom second thing to think that at a time of the winning time winning time is a very uh, dangerous time regarding the child nutrition and it possible that uh, there may be a nutritional gap occurs in that time because child is shifting from the one foot to another and uh, he may or may not like some testis remember kids know how to suck but kid doesn't know how to chew so it is parents duty to teach them how to chew the food okay so basically so at a time of winning uh the proper parental uh, education and uh, some faulty f- practice like uh, uh like a force feeding and uh, someone uh, give excess matlab uh, give extreme taste food like extra sweet extra namkin food and these are all this feed with we need to be addressed so basically we need a detailed counseling at a time of winning at least for the half an hour with pediatrician and with dietitian and there are many do's and don'ts and ifs and buts which is a separate topic by itself we can discuss it but the the winning time it is a greatest risk time in the is nutrition it may cause a nutritional gap child may end up with the weight loss child may end up with the iron deficiency in may child may end up with the other other background nutrition deficiency so it is a tricky time and by the time child grows up in the toddler or the forceful eating is one of the cause sometimes the junk food and lack, lack of physical activity improper toilet training which can also impact and uh, harm the nutrition and uh, other faulty food practice so these are the main challenges in the childhood nutrition and sometimes we have things that mother knows what to do sometimes but they don't know how to do how to give how to feed see the we have knowledge but sometimes we don't focus on the skill that how to behave with a young kid to make them fit that is also one of the important factor the every information is available over on the google there what to eat what to give what not to give you just click it you have it but what is not there how to give it and it require lots of patience from the mother side or parent side because kids are original and they don't copy for anyone so the skill how to feed the kid is very important we should have we should teach to the parents in our opd or some or we should arrange a separate session for the parents that how to feed the kid it is a it is a most most important challenge next one yeah let's do something about the obesity what is the obesity <coughs> by the definition 
BMI more than 98 percentile for the agent sex. Mostly functional obesity is there. Excess energy intake with reduced physical activity. And uh, that nice guidelines suggested that uh, if the BMI with 91 more than 91 percentile, so we need to assess the kids and look for the uh, <coughs> metabolic syndrome. Like what we said that uh, liver function test, renal function test, thyroid function test, and uh, eco diabetic screening. So we do need to all the screening in these kids. And if the kid is more than 98 percentile, we must do each and every comorbidity assessment. And the other thing is that uh, <coughs> there are lots of other cause of the uh, obesity, which may be a pathological, but it is a different thing. The most important thing to prevent the obesity is to increase the physical activity and regularize the dietary and faulty food practice. And uh, the goal in the functional obesity is doesn't to is not to reduce the weight. <laughs> the thing is that we should encourage the parents to maintain the weight, but encourage the balanced nutrition so the child will grow and his BMI will be normal. So the, if you say that the BMI is a weight plus height meter square. If the height will increase and weight will be steady, then BMI will be lower. So don't focus on the weight loss in the kid when functional period. Focus to maintain the weight while encouraging the healthy habit with diet, like vegetables, fruits, walking, <coughs> healthy drinks and all these things. So that should be a, our priority. 